So I'm going to explain the definition of a number of uh, rolling. Yeah. I'm going to explain the definition of a number of terms, like a glossary, to make sense of these, so there's commonality and clarity in the understanding. So, lots of times I'll use the term safe space or familiar space. In the construct of safe space, we go to our rules of engagement, which says people, in order to have safe space, need to be free from criticism, sarcasm, relating, intimidation, controlling, etc. That's safe space. Familiar space is what you're used to when you're in an addicted or a maladaptive position. When under duress, when feeling a lot of stress, we will often go back to familiar space at the expense of safe space. Now, one more thing on safe space. It also means that you know how to protect it, that there's a boundary. If you want to learn to develop mutual trust and respect in your space, then you learn how to give safe space to another human, one, and two, they need to be able to feel felt, that they feel you understand their perspective. So that's safe space. The other one is integration. When I say integration, it means that all systems are a go. You're working intrapersonally in harmony. You're not being fragmented. You're not flipped. You're not out of your head. It also means you know, you know how to flow through. You're not resisting everything that's going on around you. You're able to accept it for what is. It's okay. And that a mistake will allow a retake. Um, initial sensitizing event or an ISE. What that means is something that's happened to you at an earlier time in your life back to the womb or yesterday. It just means it's an event that happened that caused you to create a narrative. Normally, ISEs are created from ages 0 to 4, maybe 0 to 5. And so it's an event that you then create a narrative, which means this is what I believe about myself. Here are the conclusions. I'm of no worth. I have no value. Here's my behavior. I don't protect my boundaries. I let anybody walk over top of me. That's an ISC or initial sensitizing event. And an OSC or an other sensitizing event just means a compounding event that happened on top of that. Rules of engagement I just addressed. It means you are safe in safe space and you are feeling felt when you talk to someone. So those are the two rules. And that model is available on the website. Triggered or flipped. This is integrated. All systems working. When you're triggered or flipped, your thalamus sends a message to the amygdala that says, here's a number of things that are going on. And the amygdala interprets that you're at risk. You're in danger. You need to go to fight or flight or freeze or faint. Being triggered means your body's feeling pain, discomfort, anxiety, or stress. Therefore, you need to take a reaction or a step to countermand that which means you'll act out in a maladaptive way. Hypnosis or hypnotherapy means simply you move from a conscious state to a subconscious state with all your focus. Every single one of us spend about 80% of our day vacillating between hyp hypnot hypnotic state or conscious and subconscious, going back and forth. That's normal. But inside of hypnosis, you will focus your energies past the critical faculty into the subconscious and start the healing process. It's just guided meditation, a very relaxed state. And you are completely aware. As a matter of fact, up to 2,000 times more aware in hypnosis. You never relinquish control. You're having a conversation just like I would be talking to you. Maladaptive is the antithesis or opposite of adaptive. It's dysfunctional. It doesn't work. It's maladaptive. And empathy, important word. Empathy is not to relate. So sympathy means I'm sorry about you. So it's about me. I'm sorry. Empathy is all about you. I can articulate your thoughts and your feelings through your eyes, not mine. I'm not part of the story. So empathy is the ability to see it through someone else's eyes.